In this video, we'll be going over time and sales in Motive Wave. We can toggle the time and sales panel on and off by clicking on the time and sales icon found in the upper right hand corner, or we can click on View, Display, Time and Sales Panel. This will bring up the time and sales panel, and the historical ticks will show in milliseconds. Any ticks filled at the ask will be blue, and any ticks filled at the bid will be red. We have columns here. The available columns will be determined by your connected broker or data service. Any columns that are checked are visible. If we want to hide any of the visible columns, it's just a matter of selecting the column again. And the column is now hidden. To bring it back, let's click and select again. And the column is now available. We can adjust the width of the time and sales panel by moving our cursor to the border of the panel. As it turns to a double arrow cursor, we can left click and drag to the left to enlarge the panel, or we can drag to the right to make the panel smaller. At the top, we have the ability to change the number of rows. So I'm going to change this to 25. And now we have less rows. We have the ability to refresh the panel. We can turn the grid on or off we can lock the panel to prevent further ticks from coming in. And of course we have preferences. Here we have rows. We had set this to 25, but I'm gonna set this back to 100. We have the ability to change the location of the panel from the right to the left. And the panel is now to the left of the chart. Let's put it back to the right. bring back the preferences and now we have the option for colors by default the bid and ask volume colors are going to be light blue and light red we can of course change this for instance if we wanted an orange color and perhaps a pink color we can then click update and the changes now take effect if we go back click use default use default this will bring it back to the default blue and red if we set the colors to none the text color field now takes effect so by default the color here is white if I select update the text now is white let's go back set this back to bit ask volume we have the ability to filter the ticks with a minimum and maximum trade size. So if we enable the minimum and the maximum and we set 5 for minimum and 10 for maximum, we will now see the historical ticks that have a minimum of 5 and a maximum of 10. Update. And here we have our 5 to 10 inclusive. We click preferences. Let's turn this off. We also have the aggregate period listed in milliseconds. The period for aggregate can be customized. The default, as we can see here, is 100 milliseconds. The trades are aggregated if they occur within the aggregation window. They have the same price and the same ask tick value. The trades must occur in sequence, no non-matching trades between them. So I'm gonna leave this uh, default 100. We can also highlight big sizes. So if I wanted, for instance, to set this to 15, this will highlight any of the historical ticks that have sizes of 15 or more. The add ask color in this case will be green and the add bid color will be red. Again, these can be changed. I will leave them with the defaults. I'll click update. And now you can see that they're highlighted. Go back to preferences. We've already gone through locked, which is this option here, preventing further ticks from coming in. And if we've already discussed show grid, but I'll turn that on. We also have save defaults. So if I now click save defaults, any of the changes that I made here will now apply every time I bring up the time and sales panel. So if I click update, we now see the grid along with our save defaults. Okay, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.